Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a server tour. Um, I'm going to have to film this really really quickly because I've run out of time today because I'm a lot busier than I expected. Um, so yes, this will be the video for today. I apologise for that. But uh, hopefully this will do. There seems to be quite a lot of lag on this server as well, which is a bit uh, of a shame. But this is my world. This is my new world. I had one in the overworld, but uh, we have Miscraft, so I've made a new one. And this is pretty much it. <laughs> this is a. Uh, I have my setup here, sort of IC2 machines, and some a medium voltage and low voltage solar arrays, MFSUs, all that good stuff. Oop. Who hit me? Oh, maybe it's just delayed. Yeah, this was my original sorting machine, which was kind of crap because, um, as you can see on this one, it goes both grey and black. Uh, Wait. Um, yeah, white and black rather. Uh, well, anyway, if something was, if this chest was full, for example, it would just like there's a 50/50 chance of going into either chest, and this would overflow if it go in this one. So, I made my good old RP2 system. It is fully functional and works with Nether rules. So as you can see in here, everything gets allocated to the, either the Recyclers, macerators or furnaces. Nether ores get straight to the furnace because they're buggy with macerators unfortunately. So they get burnt in the furnace and then sent through another sorting machine. Like so. Uh, the processed ores get sent back into the machine so these will go to the macerators. And these will go over to my storage chests which are over here. So I have... Oh, come on lag, don't lag on me. A lot of iron. Uh, what's this one? Copper and tin, I think. Yep, copper and tin. This one is, yeah, a lot of cool gems and stuff. And this one is that, which filled up pretty quickly. And this is leftover misc. Yeah, this filled up very quickly. Cool. So this is my world. Let's go to the overworld. Okay, so that was unexpected. That crashed my game. But this is my old world. I sort of butchered everything from here to move it to the new one. Oh, excuse me. I used to have quarry here and a quarry, like, down here. And they would get fed back through these pipes, so this would be the other quarry. But, uh, there's something wrong with chunk loaders, because they wouldn't work. And they would get, like, a clog of stuff around here. It would just, like, pop out onto the ground. And this was full of water. I had to drain it with a pump, which took ages. So you can see the pump just there. Some watering tanks up there. But, yeah, this is, a. Uh, how I how I started, made some um, what are these called water mills? That's the word. And yeah, I got a sort of basic stuff down here. And then literally, my house was get me out. There we go. My house was dug into the side of this little cave, and the water. Yeah, this was a lot of water. Ooh, almost fell in. So, yeah. Lots and lots of water. I had to drain it. So yeah, that's that world. Um, I think I left the other books, yeah. I left the other books that I needed in my main world. If this will let me teleport, will it? I do not know. Come on. Nope, it crashed. Okay, yeah, crashed my game. Great. Uh, let's, set, let's get out the other books that I need. Uh, I think they're in here. Come on. Yeah, Potter's Age, Joe's World. So let's go to Joe's World first. And fingers crossed this works. Come on. Okay, this is Joe's main world. He's the, uh, he's Cessna, part of the Dretnos, uh, Dretnos, um, moderator team. And that's the end of his little, because he, he has a sky world here, because he thinks that's cool. So this is his, oh, oh, this is his energy storage. No, let me in. Uh, oh, which consists of, oh, if it, it'll let me in. Why are you not let me in? Anyway, as you can hear, it consists of a cow. Um, a bucket is bucket of milk is taken and put into a biofuel engine, because that works. Uh, this is a nice 
Jamaican flag. <laughs> I know it's not Jamaican flag. I was joking. There, yeah, that's that's uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, nice little water and lava feature here. Some lighting. Uh, this is his main crafting area. Uh, with missing textures for the machines. That's good. Oh, what upstairs? What's up here? Ah, oh, wow. That's a lot of storage. And Matt Max is on. Why do you have to be in the Tetris pack? No one likes you. So yeah, uh, doesn't seem to be much in here. Yeah, some some little things. Camouflage paste because we have um secret doors mod on. Some nano suit armor. That's cool. And uh, tools and stuff. But let's, uh, let's mess around with him. Let's uh, have some fun with his miscraft stuff. So he's Canadian, and he's made his own little world called Canada. And me being not Canadian, I find it absolutely hilarious to mess around and rename it <laughs> over and over again. So let's call it... Um, A boot. Oops. A boot land. Apologies if some of you are Canadian, but I find that really funny. <laughs> if any of you watch South Park, you'll get my reference. Uh, what's this? Ugh. Come on, a bootland. Come on, server. Stop being laggy. Don't be laggy on me. I'm not making good video footage. Stop it. There we go. Uh, more planes, spawner, mining. Oh, I can't really play around with this. They're boring names. I could call this spawner, bootland, glowstone. Glowstone. Let's call this one something different. <laughs> if it'll let me. The server knows what I'm doing, so it's like lagging horrendously. <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> I'm still ill, by the way. <coughs> Cool. Glowstone. Let's call this, um, what should we call this? Um, yellow Light District. Ha, I came prepared. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh